I now have the bullet tied uh, to the wire and to the electrode that's going to just sit on top and I've just simply got the wire wrapped around that <clears throat> copper ground wire electrode. I'm going to just set it across, again this is real crude, I'm just experimenting here, but set it across the top of this bucket and you can't really see in the video but it, it's barely submerged maybe about a half an inch uh, from, the, from the top there's a ton of sludge down in my um, in my plating barrel uh, just from all the experimentation I've been doing okay now I'm going to attach the negative lead to oops, hard to do it through the camera it's also windy outside and someone's mowing, sorry about that. Do this in a uh, well-ventilated area. Um, I don't think this is particularly dangerous, but you are dealing with, <clears throat> I mean, at least the cleaning stage, you're dealing with an acid. Definitely keep that away from kids, pets, etc. Um, do not, uh, don't take it lightly. And um, so it, this is not something that you want to do inside or be careless about at all. Okay, so I've got the, uh, the positive hooked to the electrode in the bottom of the tank. I've got the negative hooked to the bullet itself via the, this kind of bus bar, and it's dangling down by its wire there. And I just have it tied off in one of its uh, lube grooves there. So that part will not become plated um, since it's masked. A little piece uh, covered by the wire. I'll go ahead and turn on my power supply. <coughs> Pardon me. Oops, not plugged in, of course. Let me plug it in. I had the drill press plugged in last night because uh, I was testing the durability of some of the plating that I'd been doing. And um, I couldn't, uh, if you let it go too long, it'll start to grow tentacles of copper. Where is that cord? Um, and, uh, here we go. Sorry. So you don't want it to, to be in the plating bath so long that it starts growing tentacles of copper, but at any rate, the uh, I could not remove... Okay, so power supply is now on, and as you can see, I'm running the supply at about one volt, thereabouts. Let's take a look at the current. Yeah, about, uh, about 300 mils right now. So that's good enough. Slow is the way to go. When I first started doing this with higher voltage, and um, when I would apply the power to the plating tank, the bullet would just immediately start fizzing. And it would, it would uh, off gas um, and, and produce this black, yucky stuff. Uh, sludge that I, I don't know what compound it was perhaps lead sulfate or something I don't know I noticed that a lot of other guys were having that same issue on the internet um, at any rate this is all hooked up running at one and a half volts I'll come back in a couple hours and take a look at what we've got just very slow process don't try to hurry it keep the uh, the voltage down so that you're not um, uh, making everything boil in the tank. All right, come back in a little while.